Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel Software Testing. It's me, Daniel. Happy that you're here today. You have seen it in the title already. Today I'm going to talk about edit and rewind feature in test automation. And what is this all about? Let's take a look. So whenever I talk to people, when they ask me, hey Daniel, can you suggest me a tool, a test automation framework that I should use for my daily work as a software tester? I usually ask questions back like, okay, what's your environment look like? What are your goals with the tool? What are your problems that you have right now and what problems you would like to solve? Who is the audience of that tool? Who will be using that tool? Is there something that you can use from an existing tech stack? Is, so as you can see, there are a lot of questions that I usually ask people in order to find the right tool for your needs and for their needs. Because I have seen companies struggling in just using the latest hype tool on the market saying, okay, that's the tool everybody is using, so it must work for us as well. Yeah, and to be honest, I have seen many people and many companies failing with the selection of the test automation tool. So that's why I'm usually asking, okay, these questions. And one of the main things that I usually tell people is see how easy the tool is used or can be used basically. Because whenever I, I, I talk to them and I usually like use the me metaphor of saying, okay, when you would like to drill a hole into your wall, you need a drilling machine and you get the drilling machine out of your toolbox and you can just start drilling the hole basically. You don't want to assemble the drilling machine, put everything together, wire some, some, some wire connections and stuff like that. No, you just would like to get the tool out and would like to use it. It should be user-friendly. And the same thing, to be honest, should apply for software products and for software test automation tools that we use as software testers as it on our daily basis because nobody would like to configure and do heavy lifting and heavy shifting, heavy scripting before you can actually start writing your test automation. Nobody would like to do that. And that's why whenever I talk to people when they should pick the, the right tool for them, it's like check that it's user friendly. And that basically brings me to my next tool that I would like to present you today. And the tool is called BugBug. And as you can see on the screen, BugBug has a mission and it completely is going into the right direction that is my mission too or my my vision of tools it says it's truly user-friendly codeless test automation tool so it's a no-code test automation tool that you can use in order to automate your web applications your websites yeah so as you can see here on the screen it's designed for sis teams to automate end-to-end -end testing for web apps and websites it can boost your release quality with intuitive test recording efficient test maintenance and edit and rewind. And that's why I made the video today because I think that's something really cool that I've never seen before in a tool that is super easy to use basically, right? So, and as you can see here, if you go to bugbug.io, as always check the video link down below to get an idea on the, on the links, what I've, I'm presenting today. So you can see here a uh, very first and uh, look at the bugbug interface. You can see like the trusted by companies. It's also uh, telling you like who is like the main audience for that tool. So it's for QAs, for developers, but also for product managers who are usually not that technical and but they're still able to automate with the bug bug. And that's the really cool part. So it's time saving right out of the box, but I don't want to read everything for you. You can just go on bug bug IO and read it yourself. And the best thing is you can get a free trial version of the tool as well. So just click the sign up for free button and get started. And you can only see it yourself how easy to use. And I did that myself. I clicked the sign up button. I signed up for the trial period. And the only thing that you need to do, basically the, the, the hard lifting is to install a Chrome extension, which took me, I don't know, 15 seconds or so. And then you can go and automate your, um, your web product basically. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump right into that spot, right? So as you can see, I'm on the bug bug interface. 
And I already created a demo project, which I called a demo shop. But whenever you install it and you have the first time you logged in, you get to that basically view overview. So you can create new projects or you see your projects. And we go to my already existing projects demo shops. And then it's a really lean user interface. So on the left hand side, you can see you have the test sections where you can create tests, which we're doing in a second. You can see suits, which you can like combine different tests that you already created with BugBug into suits. You have a run history, you have scheduling, you have alerting, variables, components, integrations, and project settings, and so forth. I will not go into details of each of those sections. I would like to focus on the edit and rewind feature today. So what we're going to do now is we are creating a new test. So we mm, uh, give the name, let's say, long running test. Yeah. So let's create this one. And then in the next side, you can define the software under test. Basically, you can say, OK, which URL you would like to test and you would like to record. In that case, I'm using the practice software testing.com website, which is a web shop, a dummy web shop, which you can use for automation testing. So we just hit start recording. And then you can already see that uh, in another Chrome browser opens up. And you can see basically here an overlay in the browser, which says bug bug and you are in recording mode. Also, if we take a look at the right side, you can see that we are in recording mode and you see that we already entered the URL. So we went to the URL that we just entered. And now we can do different things. We can either assert something, we can add in Hoover, we have inbox capabilities in order you would like to test the login feature. So you can generate email addresses, uh, you have um, your secrets there installed and stuff like that. You have variables, you can pause recording. So what we like to do now is we basically click through all the elements here on the screen and we can see on the right hand side what's going to happen. So we click here on that thing and you can see the click got recorded. Then we go back, we do this one. We go to the next side, we go back again. So basically we are checking all the product detail pages if they're available or not. So we open them up, we scroll down, we open a few more and as you can see on the right hand side in the background, Bug Bug is recording all the steps. Yeah. So I think we are, that's enough. One more home click and we're there. So that's it. We are recorded a test. Super easy and straightforward. Now let's finish that one. Now Bug Bug is doing like some magic, saving everything for you. And if you in a few minutes or if you not in a few minutes, a few seconds, you can see basically that you have a new step recorded. You can see that on the new label. What you can do now is you can execute it. Just hit the run, the run button. You can see there's a new browser window opening up and you see on the left side of really fast execution. And on the right hand side, you can see like all the green pass steps. So really Bug Bug is running through the script that we just created. So really in a few seconds. So done, test is passed in a couple of seconds. And now the really cool thing comes up with Bug Bug. And I bet you have already been in that situation of long running tests. So imagine you have scripted your test automation, your, your, your user journeys basically that took not a few seconds like in this really exa basic example, but your tests, they take five to 10 minutes. And you notice after the very like eight minutes or something that there, there was a mistake added to your test script. It's like, oh, damn it, I made a mistake. I need to go to, the, to that specific section and then, you know, do my coding stuff and hit run again. And then I have to wait another eight minutes until I reach to that point. And that's really, really time consuming. And it's not really cool. And Bug Bug is here for you to solve that issue, basically. So what you can do right now is, as you can see, we have a long list of stuff that we've done. And now you have basically two options that you can do. You can say we do a record from here or we do the edit and rewind. So first I go into record and from here you click that button. And then on the right side, you can see this red arrow and the red line. So let's say we go, we would like to add something here. Yeah, here we would like to add some assertions because I miss that assertion. 
So basically you have again then on the left hand side your browser in the recording mode. So you click add assert and then we do some assertions. So we assert this one, we assert that this one is visible and we assert that this one is visible. And as you can see here, BugBug already added the newly steps. As well, you can see that those steps haven't been executed yet. And that's exactly the thing. Imagine you're eight minutes in your test script and you just added three assertions that you missed. Before, you needed to execute everything again from the beginning. With BugBug, that's not the case. So now what we can do here is we do pause recording. You can see it's turning orange. The, the, the arrow and the line turns orange. And now you go back in time. You go before the steps that you just entered. And you can hit resume running. Let's do that. So we hit resume running. And as you can see, Bug Bug just executed the steps that you newly added and is continuing with the remaining parts of the script. So it's not starting from the beginning again. And that's the real cool part, right? So as you can see here, we are like we were like a couple of minutes in our tests. We were just stopping the execution, we're pausing the execution, we were adding new steps, we went back in time with <laughs> edit and rewind, and we started right there. And as you can see, we are done. Yeah, so we, we added something here and it's passed. And the same thing you can do with record from here. Yeah, so you say record from here, you move up, either you, you start from the very end or you even go a bit up. So let's go, we go here. So we click the first time on the home button and then we scroll down and I don't know, we click that hammer and we add it to the cart and then we go back home. So again, we, we paused it, uh, we, we, we st we're still recording, we added some steps, we do pause recording, it's turning into pause mode, we go up again with edit and rewind, and we say resume running, and we hit resume running, and voila, it's again going there, putting the hammer into the basket, going backwards and asserting everything for you. Super easy and convenient and in fast in execution, what I really like. Yeah. So as you can see, we're just clicking some, some tests and we're done. Yeah. And then, of course, as I said, record from here, we can do the same thing. We are at the very, very end. Let's, let's add assert one more, the, the, the element over here. So we had an assertion. Also, one more thing that you have now is you can either say pause recording, which I just showed you two times. And the last option you have is like finish and close. So if you have finish and close, Bug Bug is saving everything and is showing you again which steps you have newly added it, right? But you can already see all my newly added steps have already been executed, except for the last one, which I just added, right? So now we have the option to either run again and see what's going to happen. Um, the last thing that I wanted to show you is also if you uh, go with the mouse over each of the entries, you see the little plus icon in here. So if you click that plus icon, you can also say record from here. So you don't need to first run the test. So you can say, okay, record from here. And then basically everything gets prepared for you. And that's the really cool thing, right? As you can see, bug bug is really easy for you, especially when you've long running tests to pause the test execution, record something, add something on top to fix your long running tests, go back in time, execute right from there without wasting your time to reach that point on the failing test. And that's really cool to be honest, right? I haven't seen that before. Let me know in the comments down below if you have seen something similar. I haven't. And with that, we're already done with the demo of today. Um, one more thing that I would like to show you is basically the bug bug documentation. Also, if you'd like to get into the tool as well, check the link down below. I added them to the video description. BugBug has a lot of great documentation in place. So in this case, edit and rewind is being explained. That's cool. But also you get tutorials for beginners. You have get best practices, like what is test automation, some really basic stuff, which is really good for you, especially if you're like product manager, for example, or a non-technical person, and you would like to get into automation. Yeah, and so everything is really well described, really cool stuff. 
this is the stuff that I really would like to see when I explore new tools because that gives me always the feeling that they really care about their product. So that's important for, for you to know. Yeah. So that's it for today. Let me know down below in the comments. What do you think about that feature, Edit and Rewind? I would really love to hear from you firsthand. What do you think about the tool? And with that, I would say thank you. Thanks for coming by again. As always, like it, share it and subscribe it to support me to, to grow my channel even further. Have a great day wherever you're watching the video or you have watched the video. Bye bye.